This is Oliver. He's going to help us describe how we work for the well-being of kids aged 0 to 6 years here in Orborg. Oliver could just as well have been a baby in nursery school or daycare. And we could be talking about Omar or Olivia. But now it's about Oliver. He lives with his parents, Liz and Martin. And he's just started daycare. Oliver is doing well, both at home and in daycare. In other words, he is thriving. And we would like him to continue thriving. In our efforts to ensure this, we have a continuous focus on all children. Because we know that the earlier we discover Oliver's problems, the easier it is to re-establish his well-being. In Orborg, we are working with a model for continuously tracking kids' well-being, with evaluations, dialogue meetings, and focus on good transitions for the kids. Methods that help us develop our daily work in cooperation with the parents. A child's well-being can be a very complex concept, and at the same time, the perception of well-being can vary from situation to situation. Our evaluation of the well-being of the kids are used to adjust the pedagogical learning environment for Oliver and the group he is a part of. We are evaluating each kid minimum twice a year to assess if they are thriving, need extra attention, or if we are worried. This way, we ensure that we see all kids and we can quickly hone in on appropriate measures if needed. If we experience a child that is not thriving, we will call for a dialogue meeting with the child's mm -hmm. parents. Considering the kid's perspective, we will assess the situation and tailor a plan to help the child thrive again. The issue is often resolved with the parents, but if needed, we also have the option of expanding the effort by collaborating with psychologists, physiotherapists and other relevant professionals. In order to create good transitions throughout the early years of the child, we are in close collaboration with the parents ensuring to pass on relevant information between the different institutions the child will meet. But we and the child's parents cannot do it alone. Re-establishing a child's sense of well-being can take some time and demand patience, also from the other parents. A good and friendly mood between the adults will directly influence how the children treat each other. And a good sense of community among the children is vital in maintaining a sense of well-being for all children. After all, our work is all about how parents and professionals work together to ensure that all children thrive. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions regarding our efforts to help children thrive. You can also find more information on our website.